Hello everybody. Welcome to the next lecture on the geometric distribution. Today we will discuss about the one of the most important property that only follows by the discrete from the discrete distribution is memoryless property that only followed by the geometric distribution. So myself Garg is working in the School of Mathematics Thapar Institute. So uh, in the last videos we have seen that what is the geometric distribution and when we use the geometric distribution as compared to the binomial or the Poisson distribution. So this is the probability mass function k to the power x minus 1 p and look at that if you remember the last lecture or you can see very carefully that the only unknown parameter here is p because once p is known then q is un all automatically known to you from this relation. So the only unknown parameter is p. Now we, what will be the memoryless property? So that's uh, this memoryless property is so important in the discrete distribution so discrete distributions are my uh, Poisson distribution discrete distributions are my Bernoulli distribution discrete distribution is my one of them is the geometric distribution this is one of is a negative binomial distribution okay and so on and the only geometric distribution follow this memoryless property while others are not that's why this the importance of this memoryless property is very important so what is the meaning of this is that if you take any two positive integers x and y or s and t if you find the probability that x look at that if i say this is my s and these are my small t so what is the s plus t s plus t is definitely be here something okay you will here so what is the probability that probability of calculating on this this is the conditional probability that already this happens is nothing but you have to find the probability of getting this one only so it means uh, this small t is calculated based on this this minus this or in general if you can say that this is greater than of the n or this is greater than of the m this is nothing but my n minus m that is the time or the things you have already taken is subtracted from the previous one that's only the member that is the this uh, the time taken or you can say it's not uh, if you take x is my time so it's it's totally depending on the current position it's not for the previous position so this property is called as the memoryless property so the proof is quite easy so we will discuss about the proof since it is a geometric distribution so this is my pmf now you have to find the probability of x greater than of this side and this so what we do is that we can start with some any arbitrary positive integer k so how you write that if it is x is greater than k what is the meaning is that if it is greater than k means it's k plus 1 plus x is equal to k plus 2 plus x is equal to k plus 3 and so on okay now since it this follows the geometric distribution and what is the meaning of the geometric distribution is if you perform an experiment the success will occurs at k plus 1 equation so this is the k plus 1 th equation how many previous attempts are there these are my k what about that this is my failure so how many failures are there k failures so the total will be k raised power k and here is my success so what is that this is k raised power k of p else you can substitute the value of this x in here plus similarly if here here this is my small x you can substitute the value here so this is k raised power x plus 1 of p similarly you can find the others k plus this and so on okay so if you look at this how you so simplify how you find the sum up to the infinite series is anything is common yes k raised power k is common and p is common so what about the remaining is 1 plus q plus q square and so on up to the infinite and since it is infinite so it's by gp and sum of the infinite series of the gp is a upon 1 minus r a is my first term look at that this is my first term 1 r what is the common ratio is my q so look at that this okay so what what is the 1 minus q make sure that 1 p plus q is nothing but 1 so 1 minus q is nothing but my p so if you substitute here as a p so this p and this will be cancel out so it is nothing but my q is power k so it means p of x greater than k is nothing but my q raised power k 
now we will start from the left hand side and try to prove on the right hand side so let's say that you know that what is the probability of a in uh, condition b is so this is a intersection b divided by p of b so look at that now this is my a this is my b so probability of a intersection probability of b divided by probability of p so how you find the probability of the numerator part b so look at that graphically if this is my s this is my s plus t something so you have to find the probability of s plus t x greater than of this intersection s greater than of this so what is the common portion behind that this is the common portion so what is that s plus t so the numerator part is nothing but my x is greater than of the s plus t and denominator is remain the same thing now look at that if you sub find the value already find the value of this is equal to q raised power k so you can substitute now here k is this so this is nothing but s plus t divided by q s so what is that this is nothing but q raised power t so what is that q raised power t if you see from here this is nothing but this one okay so that is from you have start from the left hand side you have to reach at the right so this is a quite uh, two lines are proof for the nebulous property so you can try to solve these again questions are there so with the help of the geometry distribution if there is any doubt you can ask me at any time most welcome so we will see the next lecture on the negative binomial distribution and we will see what is the difference between the binomial and the negative binomial till then best of luck students